Welcome to Time Out, your coaching tip for this morning. And I really mean time out because what we're talking about is really being able to figure out how to implement rest. And when we talk about implementing rest as a priority, here's what I'm asking you to consider. Consider prioritizing patience over pursuit. I say it again, that if you're really going to put rest in the practice and reap its rewards, at some point, you're going to have to figure out how to prioritize being patient over everything you're pursuing. Now, if we're going to identify the opponent to our patience and our resting, we have to be honest that the number one or maybe number two or maybe just two things that really cause us uh, to move ridiculously fast instead of resting is one, other people, and two, improper planning. Again, other people and improper planning are often the corporates that cause us to not actually be able to rest. Why? Because other people place time frames and deadlines on things that they want you to get done. Other people often ask you at the last minute. Other people give you times that are too close or too far off. And as a result, we just don't plan properly, which brings me to number two, improper planning. If there is no plan, there is a high chance that you're going to have to rush. And if you're rushing, then you cannot rest. But if you plan and understand people, then we'll be able to find rest. I also want to suggest to you that it's rare that you rush when it's something that you have to do that doesn't include other people and it doesn't include planning. If there aren't any other people involved, if there aren't any plans that have been set, typically you take your time. You find rest in those areas. That brings me to the play for today. Because if we're going to prioritize patience over pursuit, there are a couple of things that we have to do to beat the opponents of other people in improper planning. The first is you got to look through the lens of others. Ask yourself this question. Is what they're asking me to do as important to them as I'm making it to me? Because I've learned that oftentimes we make other people's emergencies our priorities. And you want to be careful at screaming and calling 911 for them when they aren't even concerned themselves. I see you laughing. You're laughing on the other side of the screen because right now you know that that's true. There have been times that you've gone out of your way for someone. You've done uh, less for yourself to help them only to discover that they weren't even invested. So if you can apply patience by looking through the lens of others, what you will find is that there are many cases that what you made an emergency really could have been put off a little while and you would have had some time to rest. So if you look through the lens of others, first ask yourself, is this really as important to them as it is to me? But then also looking through that lens, ask yourself, should this be as important to me as it is to them? Because you also discover that there are some things that others are able to do on their own and you can still be able to serve. You can still be an assistance to them. You can still be a help without having to do it on such a tight shoestring time frame. So then the question, of course, is this. What do we do? How do you actually, after making sure that the 911 is accurate, you've now kind of looked through the lens of others. What do we do to actually show that we are being patient? Four quick things. One, you can prioritize patient over how much you're pursuing by making a plan. First of all, plan the rest. I think you've already heard by now that if God took a day, surely you can take at least one. Put rest on the schedule. Schedule time for you. And I'm not just talking about vacation. I'm talking about in the middle of a day. Put 30 minutes, 20 minutes, 15 minutes into your day that has absolutely nothing. Get up from your desk. Walk around the office. Go outside and smell the air. See the sun. Look at some of the plants. But do something that you have planned to do. Because if you do not plan it, there's a high chance that you will not perform it. Two, if you're going to prioritize patience, create a pace. Figure out or decide how fast or slow or when do you really want to have the assignment completed? When do you want it to be done? When do you want it to be final? Because if you choose the pace, then you get to determine your rest in your race. 
Third, choose your priorities right. Make sure that you put first things first, because if you fail to prioritize, somebody else will prioritize your life for you. And then lastly, you got to make sure you understand the process. Everything can't be done quick, fast and in a hurry. There are some things that you need to slow down and embrace. Everything can't be instant. Everything can't be microwave. There are some things that need to be slowed down. And if you learn to do these things, if you put these things into practice, not only will you prioritize patience over pursuit, but you'll also learn how to receive the rewards of rest. This has been your coaching tip for today.